Alzheimer's is going to be with us. It's not backing down, and neither should we. And speaking of refusing to back down, I would like to introduce to you a brave man who will be speaking out about his personal experience with dementia-related disorder. Please welcome to the stage Steve Barbieri and his wife, Tracy. Thank you. I get a little nervous, so I had to write it down. Good morning, everyone. My name is Stephen Barbieri, and I have dementia. I was diagnosed three years ago with early onset of dementia at the age of 51. I get asked all the time, what is the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? Let's talk about ice cream. Everybody likes ice cream. So when you say ice cream, you're not saying a flavor, you're not saying a flavor, you're saying a word that groups all the flavors together. So when you say dementia, you're using it just like saying ice cream, you're grouping all of them together. Ice cream has two most common flavors, chocolate and vanilla. Dementia has two most common types as well. Alzheimer's, which uh, adds up to about 65 to 80% of most dementia cases, cases, as well as vascular dementia, which could result from, the, from having a stroke. I have a different flavor. I have CTE. I'm gonna try and pronounce it. Chronic traumatic encephalopolis, something like that. That's why I'm glad they shortened it to CTE. It's what a lot of the NFL football players have been diagnosed over the years from head injuries and concussions. Over the years, I've had my share of head injuries and concussions as well. They say there are seven stages of dementia. I'm about three-ish. Some people will say different. <laughs> I have short-term memory problems. I have word-finding problems when I speak. I tend to repeat myself, which drives my wife and my kids crazy. I have terrible sleep patterns at night. Uh, I, I typically, during the day, have to take a nap every day at 3.30 to recharge my battery. Just like a cell phone needs to recharge, I need to recharge my battery, though, every day at 2.30. I have a buck. I have a bucket list like most people. We have three children. I want to see my kids graduate from college and walk to get their diplomas. I want to see my son Stephen get married. I want to walk my daughters down the aisles at their at their wedding. I want to see my grandchildren and know who they are when they're sitting on my lap. My wife Tracy has a hard time at weddings. She cries a lot when the father-daughter dance happens, but for different reasons than most. She's afraid at the, that I may not know who my daughters are at the time when I'm dancing with them. My coworkers remember me for many of my one-liners. When is the best time to do something? Now. I don't expect anybody to do anything I'm not willing to do myself. I can't just sit back and wait for someone else to help find a cure. I've heard and read that a cure is within 10 years if it's properly funded. So based on these walks, this is where we're helping with the funding. So I'm here today with my wife as Team Kick All, that's what our shirt says. We actually sold over 200 of these shirts as part of my fundraiser, again, to here to help walk to, to find a cure. And here's my wife, Tracy, for a moment. Good morning. It's wonderful to see so many faces out there in the crowd. Um, this is a big venue. <laughs> it's very nice. We just want to thank everyone for coming out and helping fund the research. Um, our biggest dream is that there will be a cure in the next few years so that other people's children don't have to their father repeat himself so many times a day or not know where their school is that he's driven to for years, not know what your child, what sport they're playing or don't remember that day. Um, my biggest fear is the wedding. We went to several this last summer and it was very difficult because I just pray that there is a cure before our time comes for that day so that their father will know who they are and is able to walk down the aisle with them and be of right mind. So please keep going with the funding um, and so that the research can 
come through and we just all pray for a quick and wonderful uh, finding of the cure for this horrible disease. Thank you.